not really universally true, it's never universally true, but I have to say the temperature in Shetland is about the same as in Sheffield, about 18 degrees, the warmth, this other side of this white ribbon. But what's coming into the southwest, this white cloud here, is an area of low pressure. That will be the dominant feature if low pressure can dominate for all of us for the whole weekend. So let's just finish off today then. A uh, nice bit of sunshine for most. The rain coming into Cornwall, Devon and South Wales in the next few hours. Temperatures ahead of it, 22 degrees or thereabouts at the maximum. Now overnight tonight, as the rain comes in and the cloud comes in, so the wind will increase. All of that stops the temperature dropping, whether it be midsummer or as it might feel like, midwinter. So it's a fairly mild night and the driving force an area of low pressure wrapped around it, at least one frontal system. It will come in at least two bands of rain. So the weekend, in short, is wind and rain for virtually all. I'll tell you what, if you go to the Western Highlands, you'll have the best sunshine. The rest of us expect it to not be good as, to, as good as today. That's how Saturday starts. Now, we'll go in to the Wimbledon area at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's likely to be raining. It's likely to be raining over a good part of central and eastern England. And the wind has picked up, you'll note, quite a strong southeasterly. The rain is lasting where it falls for quite a long time. There's an area a few miles out where it's dry for quite a long time. That rain edging up into lowland and Scotland. Here are the highlands, full of sunshine. But a bit of a breeze from the east means the west coast is best of all. A very wet looking picture for Northern Ireland for Saturday at 8 o'clock this morning. And then that rain comes down through Wales. But having gone through overnight, it's left the West Country largely dry until the next lot comes into Cornwall, with even stronger winds gusting eventually 40 or 50 miles an hour. Hardly summery weather, but we have seen it before this year, only a month ago. Now, as Saturday progresses, band one and two of the rain moves slowly, but only slowly north, as band three comes in here, so there's a huge swathe of central and eastern England that looks dry, with temperatures down on today, admittedly, by a degree or so, more or less wherever you are, and you'll feel that wind. Now, of course, that means that the chances are it'll be dry play at Wimbledon until the very end of the day, but Sunday is a different story. The rain is still falling fairly steadily, not just at Wimbledon, but the chances are eventually over much of central and eastern England. Again, the western highlands of Scotland do best of all. So today's our best day.